<laughs> we found some nice wood. <laughs> Holy cow. What is this, 112 acres? This piece? Man, is there some volume on this. There's Matson's line. That's a lumber company who owns that. I sold them a bunch yeah, of logs, so acres, I'm going to bug them about cutting that junk because it's all quake and pine. Well, you think, you know, ain't going to do them no good. They don't saw quake and pine. They saw, saw grade logs, so I'm going to bounce them. But look at the freaking quake in here. And then look at all the understory of hardwood, oak trying, you know. Like I say, you get this cover off of this, this thing will blow up in oak. Oak and maple. And quake will come back too. But get rid of the pine, it won't regen. Most of this pine. Hey, look at that. What? Looks like, looks like the deer ate at the Chinese food place too. It's got the squirts. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just had to do a little kung pao out in the woods. <laughs> I ate the Chinese place for lunch. <laughs> Man, that shit go through you like <laughs> shit through a goose. <sighs> Think it's a deer trail here, Manny? <laughs> Holy cow, it looks, it looks like a highway. <laughs> Must have just put one out ahead of us. Now this is the kind of stuff I like. He can take your grade logs and stick them with us on Don't Shine. This is the kind of production I like. Racha. Oh, There's our property line over there to the right. So we still got what? 16, 1800 feet out to the road. So I think that one leg was on the back of this. From the road up to the corner was 700 and... Not yet. Yeah, it was 700 and... 90 yards, so that's what? Wow, what's that? That's almost 2,400 feet or something. Mm -hmm. It's a half a mile. No, we ain't coming that far yet. Look at the size of the quake. See, this quake is nice because I can do scrag out of it, which gets the landowner a little bit more dough out of the out of it. You know. I can generally go, you know, five, six bucks a ton on the scrag. That's quake. Yeah, it's all aspen. Boy, that's big aspen. Look at the size of it. Tall. A lot of this, like three stick aspen. So I'd get a couple sticks of scrag out of that, and then, and then go uh, put the rest in the pulpwood. There's some cherry and stuff up in here. There's a locust. Yeah, you could leave a couple cherry in here for crop. Wow. Yeah, the pine's nice too. It's a little small, but yeah, that's what Pete was suggesting when he looked at it for me the other day. To tell him to leave the pine let it grow in our 10 or 15 years. It's a possibility too. Might have a better market by then. There certainly is plenty of fiber in here to and do these woods great to spin it. Hey, that's a green ash tree. Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at that. Is that like an ash borer tree? Yep. But oh. it survived and it's green. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's a good, healthy little ash tree. It ain't the best, cleanest looking specimen, but it's green and alive. <clears throat> that's good news. You still see the mats? Oh yeah, it's over there always. Wow. This dude had no idea he's even got anything anybody didn't want. I call and I talk to him, he said, I don't know. I, I don't think I got anything in there. <laughs> like, well, you do. It's just that none of the grade mills or sawmills, they don't want this stuff. There's a ribbon right over there, about uh, 75 yards out. That's mats and line going. <laughs> So let's go up through here a little bit more. Wow. This ground is pretty even friendly. Is this a green ash? What? No, that's a dead ash. Oh, what is Well, actually, it, it is ash. Huh. Yeah, well, I think it is still living. It's not the best shape, but... See, that would be good to copus that. Cut it off and let it sprout. 
Yeah. Because it's pretty poor shape. It looks like the bugs did get in it, but it didn't completely kill it yet, I guess. It's good, good, uh, that's a good thing though, to see it. That was probably small enough, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, you know, big enough or viable for them to eat yet. So, that's funny, you know, you look at that, it almost looks like northern red oak, but it's quake. Look at those quakies, wow. Yeah, they would sprout like crazy too, but my god, what a habitat you'd create in here, wow. You just have deer going nuts in here. There's a few hardwood up on this ridge. Wow. Look at that. I don't know, this must have been stripped, reclaimed, I don't know. Maybe not. Looks like it though. There's just a little bit of virgin ground at the top of the hill they didn't get any, huh? There's like a huh. backbone of uh, huh. hardwood up through here. Mm -hmm. Huh. A nice white oak. Fairly good white oak. What a nice piece of ground. This would be nice. Do some feed plots in here. Woo. Man. Wow, man, is there some fiber in here? Whew. Holy man. Hey, look at that old tree stand, huh? Buck stand. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, we'll continue so our. Where we are on the map. Yeah, so we're off the line a bit. But we got the gist. Yeah, what wow. are you looking at? Holy moly. Ooh, well, that's... Nice. What? We should have bought orange. I heard a gun. Well, I ain't hunting though. Mm -hmm. Not on Sundays. Can't hunt on Sundays in PA. Isn't that still, stupid? Still shoot, yeah. Well, hopefully not. Geez, at least if it's hunting season, they have some excuse. <laughs> oh, I thought she looked like a bear. I thought he looked like a big old rhinoceri. Uh oh. You okay? Grab the, whole the devil's club. Oh, you didn't hurt them pretty nail skis, did you? Show everybody your pretty nails. Aren't they pretty? Winter blue, frosty, sparkle, sparkly blue. Looks like the Disney Frozen. Cindy Cinderella's castle. Frozen. Oh, you're such a girly girl, Mammy. What? I see you again someday. Oh, you'll see it again. We gotta take a little. We gotta take the poopoo -poo bears down. I don't think we're gonna do it this year though. No. Nope. We'll see. Jeffrey says not this year. Well, I know. Grumpy <laughs> son of law. <laughs> Look at the little oak tree trying to come in in here. Mm -hmm. Little white oak, he got some sunlight. Look at him, he's trying. Poor little guy. He's give me some light. Give me some light. Sad thing is, you know, all this pine, it won't even get much bigger. It'll just die, fall over, which will let the light in, but all you're doing is prolonging the prolonging the uh, the junk. Here's a nice little red oak. It's not the best specimens yet. That's a red oak. Thin out around him. My God, this stuff is endless. Yeah, no, I'm, why not? We'll get on here a little bit and we can start hiking back to the truck. Should have just drove down in here. This road is all good, I didn't know. Well, you need to walk. I know, I gotta walk off my Kung Pao. If you wanna keep up with them drinking. I know. Oh, we're walking. We've walked probably. Probably walked two or three miles today so far, haven't we? It is good exercise, I must say. Ooh! Now we're getting down into the larch. Well, first we've got another nice strip of uh, quake here. Look at this stuff, man. Look at that. 
Oh, that's beautiful wood. The larch is, uh, yes, yes, it's tamarack. It's actually, uh, it's the only, it's not an ever. it's, well, it is an evergreen. It's a conifer, but it loses its needles, like the bald cypress. As far as I know, that's the only two that do that. And the little oak. That's a little red there, trying to come. See how this is all like this in here, guys, on YouTube, yeah? You know? And really, it's, what's really cool, too, is you can if you can find a spot where these things have died, you'll look and you'll see a lot more. Like, where, the, where you see stuff have died and blown over, you can tell right here. See how the light got in right here because of a couple of them died and blowed over? See that, Mammy? Look how many, like, there's three or four times as many hardwood shoots coming up. Mm -hmm. I have proofs in the pudding. And then you look at another area where it's shaded and nothing comes in. You look up through there, it's much, it's like three times the density. Well, that's what happens when you cut this junk. The sunlight gets in on it and away it goes. Man, that's nice wood. Wow. I got one. We got to go do that up on the Fisher Road. Remember that big block we took out over there? I don't know, it's probably six or eight years ago. That stuff's probably 20, 20, 25 feet tall of saplings in there already. Just amazing. This makes fast wood though. We like doing stuff like this. Yeah, even if you just want to do a few There's clear cuts. And, oh, that's that gas right away where it came in on. Gas line. My God, this stuff's nice. Whew. Now. This. This would be really good with a hot saw in here. But there again, it's handy. Still cut it fast with the dangle saw and just cut the top saw of it too, so a lot quicker. So it's six one half dozen the other. It's no matter what you use, this stuff will add up fast. There's a couple of junky oaks. Man, this place is just Polluted with wood. Look at the larch. That's eastern tamarack. That's nice stuff. Princess pine all over. Yeah, oh, a little princess pine. Yeah. Oh, somebody walked through here. Yeah. It wasn't us either, Pooh Bear. Are you shitting me? Uh -oh. Somebody walked through here. Maybe they seen us come in and followed us. Oh, it's got a dog. Sure? Yeah, they got a big dog. They got a big rot wire gonna chew you a new honey hole, Grammy. <laughs> They're gonna latch right onto your cheeks, Mammy. <laughs> Good, I need to lose some pounds, that'll be the way to do it. <laughs> Feed the rot wire. <laughs> oh, you're a good sport, Mammy. <laughs> oh probably, I don't know. Somebody seen me go up through, I don't know. He said you couldn't look at him. Yeah, oh yeah, I asked him. He said, yeah. Because remember I asked him if anybody was hunting, he said, no, they got their bucks and rifle, they're not muzzle loading, so. I said nobody would be in here. You think it's now? What? You think this is from now? Oh yeah, that's, that's, that snow was fresh and they're leaving the same tracks we are. And that's this morning's snow. I didn't see them ahead of us, did you, when we walked in? You know, whatever. I heard a gun going off. Ah, I, ain't, I don't think anybody's hunting. It's yeah, just... Maybe, maybe. Wow. Maybe it's flat print. And there sure is a lot of... Sure is a lot of material on this. Holy cow. Wish we had a better market for pine pulp. Up that way, correct? Uh, well, we should be walking up on it. Oh. Are we? We're headed to it? Yeah. <laughs> it's 28 to the left? Should be, yeah. We're still probably about what, half the distance from the road to. Yeah. yeah, so let me see that. About halfway. Yeah, so here's the back corner where we started. We came up this. And then there's Route 28. So, yeah, we're. About right halfway middle. through the woods, a little better. Just another shot on the way out. Yeah, this is the other people walking. That's not us. 
because we went off trail up there and up to the corner. Squatchies. Squatchies. Yes, it's squatching their dog. <laughs> Boy, some nice stuff on that. It's a nice day for a walk, really. Yeah. I mean, you know, with couch potatoes close, so we got 8 o'clock. Yep. Tonight we're close to 7 o'clock. Mm, we're couching. We've been out in the woods. I'm about ready to do a couch for a couple hours. I've had about enough for one week. Uh, it's going on what? I don't know. I worked all day yesterday till, I don't know, what, 5 30 or something. Right. We've been at it this morning. Oh, well, what did we get up about? 7 30 this morning? Slept in, man. Well, I woke up about two. Flopped around like a fish. Boy, it's nice well, wood. I fell asleep around five because you were snoring and cheating. Yeah, yeah. in the woods like boo. Yeah. Legs. <laughs> I was... <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I told you, you. I told you. I thought... I dreamt that. that the Swedish bikini team was after me. Yeah. Freeman. They were going to whack me with the garlic bits. You know. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, them damn girly bits. No good. <laughs> All right, they get you in trouble. Oh, stumblings. Well, we'll see what the landowner says. I know what I'd do in a couple places in here. I'd set up me some. Well, that's a butternut, I think. I do believe. That? Yeah, that's a rare bird. I would say bass. No. How do you say bass or bass? No, it's bass, but no, that ain't a bass. That's a nut tree. I think that's butternut. They call that the blonde walnut. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's similar looking to a walnut. It's just a little lighter. That's yeah, that's a butternut. That's a rare one. I don't see too many of them. Is there any nut on the and this was all planted in here, too. Isn't that odd? Yeah. 